scientific webinar with Hello on the importance of suitable media for student productions. Uh, thank you for uh, introduction. And <laughs> my name is Hyung Tech Jason John. It's hard to pronunciation. Hyung Tech, you call me just Jason. So I'm the global product manager at Excel Therapeutics, and I got my PhD in microbiology and immunology, and start my career in R&D before switching them to marketing and sales. That's and today I'd like to introduce you to the Exodum Spastic Media that we are proud to introduce our Excel Therapeutics. And I'd like to share with you why media is so important in Exodum research and the Exodum field. So we will uh, take a, a comprehensive exploration of the law of cell culture media in Exodum production and its profound significance in various scientific research fields. Okay, let us embark on this enlightening journey, okay? Here is my contents of today's webinar. Before driving to the specifics of exome production media, let's start with a brief introductions to cells and exosomes. As you know, the cells are the basic units of living organisms and are responsible for their diverse functions and structures in our bodies. Um, in fact, the human body consists of the approximately 60 trillion cells, each with its unique characteristic and function. And it's essential to note that our cell, all cells are secret exosomes. To conduct research or develop therapeutic uh, involving cells, we need to proliferate these cells outside the body. We call it in vitro. Mm, that's where the cell culture media come into play. Cell culture media provide the necessary nutrient and the condition for cells to grow and thrive in vitro. By providing the essential ingredient or food for cells, uh, we can obtain the sufficient number of cells for research or treatment purpose. And the exosomes are the small membrane-bound vesicle that are released by cells into the extracellular space. Mm, they play a crucial role in its intercellular communications and the transfers of various molecules within cells. Exosomes are present in various bodily fluids, such as blood, urine, and saliva. And they are involved in both normal and physiological process and disease progressions. But they hold immense potential in various research fields, including therapy, drug delivery, diagnostics, and regenerative medicine. So I share you the significance of the chemical defined media we call CDM for exogen productions today. Uh, now let's talk about the main component of cell culture media. The medium, which can be linked to the nutrient or food for cells, and plays an important role in determining the growth and the characteristic of the cells. Mm, the medium consists of a base medium and the key element needed to maintain the cell specific characteristics. And it is important to note that different cell types have different requirements for growth and functions. So um, cell specific media formulations are needed to provide the optimal conditions for each cell type. Um, media can be categorized into two main types based on the contents of the serum. The, the content of the fetal bovine serum we call FBS or the human platelet glycate. We call the serum media and the serum free media. This serum contained media uh, contains FPS as a supplement to provide various growth factors, hormone and other, other components need for cell growth. This, but the serum free media, on the other hand, exclude FPS, but may contain other ingredients derived from human or animals. 
Genofree media are those that eliminate animal drive material with, with, because it is genofree, which addresses safety concerns and ethical consideration to some extent. But there are obvious limitations in terms of supply and demand because it is uh, plated lysate or human platelets. So it is very limitations to supply and demand. However, the pinnacle of cell culture media is chemical defined media, we call CDM. The CDM or the state of the art approach to cell culture, providing serum free cultures without defined compositions of non substances and no animal or human drive component. This type of media provide researchers with the highest level of control and consistency and reproducibility in cell culture experiments. Mm, to the demand for uh, cell-based research and applications has been on the rise across various uh, industries. Uh, researchers are increasingly relying on cells uh, for studying disease mechanism, the drug discovery, or tissue engineering. Mm, and the regenerative medicine, something like that. Mm, with this growing demand comes the need to address safety concerns associated with the traditional culture media, such as uh, viral infection and immunogenicity, immunogenicity um, triggered by FES cultures. Uh, Fetal robot serum, FES, a commonly used supplement in cell culture pose certain challenges. It contains undefined and variable components, which can lead to inconsistent results and difficulties in traceabilities. FBS also raise concerns regarding the risk of contaminations uh, or regulatory barriers in the global market and environmental and ethical issues. To overcome these challenges and meet the evolving demand of the market, uh, there is a um, pressing need to explore alternative media options. Uh, the development and adoption of chemical defined media with their enhanced safety, consistency, and traceability uh, provide a solution to address these concerns. What are the expected benefits of the utilizing CDM in exogen productions is the questions of uh, today's webinar. Mm. So let's take a closer look at the specific risk associated with the serum containing media. Fetal mobile serum drive media in particular uh, presents severe challenges. Uh, FBS contain animal drive exosomes uh, and other aggregated non extracellular vesicle nanoparticles, which can contaminate conditioned culture media. Um, these contaminants can potentially uh, lead to mis misinterpretations and uh, confound the analysis of EVs. Uh, researchers uh, using FBS as uh, as a supplement must be aware of the presence of exogenously provided AV and non vesicular contaminants, which may affect the accuracy and reliability of their studies. This is very important. The, concent the concentration and size distribution of, of extracellular vesicle and other particles in culture media can vary significantly depending on the specific conditions. For instance, um, untreated FES um, supplemented, supplemented condition media may contain a heterogeneous population of EVs with size ranging maybe 50 nano to 500 nanometers. And commercial EV depleted FES, we call the uh, depleted sera, EV depleted sera uh, can provide a substantial reductions in total uh, FVS uh, drive EV, but still remain, still retain uh, a considerable numbers of EVs. 
um, but still retain uh, a constable review. So this this research in emphasizes that um, the challenges of completely depleting exosomes from culture media uh, while maintaining sufficient growth factors and nutrients for cell viability, viability and function. Mm, in terms of media manufacturing, it is, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, in terms of the media manufacturing, it is very difficult to make a medium with low EV con contamination because it is lipids that are considered to be really important with making a uh, chemical defined medium. Mm, because it is, uh, it is repeat that the most important for cells to attach, to grow and form the cell membrane, it is repeat by layer. So the repeat is the very important component for making a uh, chemical defined media. So, but however, the NTA, so which we usually have to utilize the, in EV studies like nanocyte or ZeraView, cannot accurately distinguish the EVs from the EV from the lipid particle that are, are almost the same size as extracellular vesicles. So therefore, lipid of 30 to 150 nanometers that are included in the medium preparations are bound to be, to be present in the medium in the large quantities. Mm, separating, separating serum, mm, serum drive EV from the human cell drive EVs uh, presents challenges. Well, while common method can efficiently eliminate certain contamin contaminants, uh, small non-coding RNA such as snRNA, yRNA, snow RNA, something like that, that contaminants are more difficult to eliminate. So researchers in the field of EV, particularly uh, those studying EV microRNA, must uh, critically be evaluate the validity of utilizing exosome depleted serum and media in cell culture based studies. To address the limitation and risk of traditional culture media, Excel Therapeutics, we have developed a platform called Export, which aims to develop the animal human drug free media to ensure the highest level of safety and consistency and the traceability. The export platform consists of two key components. The first, the, the, we call ACF Essentials. This is animal origin free. And we provide the, the ACF essential provide the mixture essential for cell survivor. That is the basic component. And the second is a collaborate filtering map. And this enable the development of the recipe and a suitable for different cells uh, characteristics. So this enable um, this, this enable mass production of media and ensuring the scalability and scalability and supply chain reliability, something like that. So in stem cell cultures, cell growth is a critical metric. And we have uh, already successfully launched a serum-free CD medium for medicine kind of stem cells. We call cell car MSC CD AOF, the animal origin free version. And many companies are utilizing our CellCur MSC CD AOF to, uh, to free themselves from the limitations of impurities and cell overgrowth, which has been one of the weakest points in the cell and therapy field. Maybe the impurities and the cell overgrowth is the hurdle of the cell and gene therapy field. And also in the EV field, Mm, companies or many researchers are also choosing cellular exocity to reduce various quality control costs. Maybe uh, in the exodum, in the extra vesicle field, they have many quality control with the uh, Dynapid or the FACS 
and another um, purity markers in exosomes. So in terms of the purity, which is just as important as particle yield. So the third part is the outcome of, 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 of experts we call SECO ExoCity with, the, with specialized with exosome isolation and expansion the human mass and common stem cells. So the outcome of the export platform is Celco X City, so an optimal cell medium specifically designed for mass productions, research, and drug development of exosomes. Uh, Celco X City uh, provides the several key advantage compared to traditional media formulations. The first, it eliminates more than 95% of impurities ensuring the production of pure exosome with minimal contaminations. As before, I said, uh, in terms of the media, media manufacturing, the lipid is very um, crucial component to make uh, uh, chemical defined media because the, uh, the cell attachment and the, mem the making the cell membrane process is very vital in cell culture. Cell culture. So you know, they confuse the lipid, lipid with exosomes. They, they hard to distinguish with the nanoparticle analysis. So we eliminate more than 95% of impurity with uh, to check, to, to investigate for the uh, nanoparticle tracking analyzers. And second, uh, it offers convenience in cultures, allowing for ease of use and simplified workflow. This media can be applied to various sources of mesenchymal stem cell, including adipose, bone marrow, uh, umbilical cord blood, water jelly, and so on, with various origin of MSC, so among others. The competitiveness of the circle X city lies in its stability, safety, and the homogeneity. Uh, it promotes stable cell growth and proliferations, leading to a consistent and reliable supply of exogen for research and therapeutic purpose. Uh, it is crucial to ensure that the cultural media used in exosome productions are free from contaminant exosomes. Uh, this guarantees the purity and integrity of the target exosomes obtained from the conscient media. Uh, we that experiment have shown that, that traditional FPS already contain a significant amount of contaminant exosomes. Separating the target exogen from this contaminant pose a considerable challenges. To achieve pure target exogen, it is essential to use media that are free from contaminant exogens. Furthermore, our data indicate that the bovine, bovine CD9, the, the, as you know, the CD9 or CD81 is the tetraspinin protein, at which we call the exosome markers. Um, our data indicate that bovine drug exogen, bovine CD9s are present in both FPS or the FPS depleted sera containing media. Uh, but our uh, emphasizing the importance of selecting appropriate media formulate to avoid contaminations. Okay, let's delve into efficient media for obtaining MSC drive exosomes. The, this MSC, mesenchymal stem cell, were seeded in different media formulations, and the number of MSC drive exosomes was quantified. An analysis in, instrument like NTA, such as JW Nanocyte, were used to measure exosome productions. The research clearly demonstrates that the Cercar XCD outperforms other media formulations, showing significantly higher exogen productions. In fact, the, the Cercar XCD enables approximately 2.5 times greater exogen productions, making it an efficient media for mass productions. And to ensure the absence of bovine drive exosomes contamination, 
Methane stem cell was, was incubated in different media formulations. And exosomes were isolated and analyzing using Western blotting. The, the result come from that. And the Serco XCD does not contain bovine CD9, bovine, bovine drive any exosomes. In addition to its purity, Serco XCD inhibit, uh, exhibit the highest exosome production among the compared media formulations. And this finding underscores the importance of using the media free from contaminant exosomes to obtain pure and reliable MSC drive exosomes. As you know, the cell culture medium plays an important role in stem cell cultures. In previous EV studies, cell culture media and the EV harvesting media were used separately in previous EV studies. Uh, but in this experiment, we cultured MSC in different media and quantified the number of methanol stem cells after five day cultures. The results show that. The Serco XCD promotes superior MSC proliferations and that the to total cell numbers in compared to other media. During the same period, a significantly higher number of cells proliferate in Serco XCD cultures. The proliferation rate was approximately 3.8 times better than FPS and 1.5 times better than commercial media. This demonstrates uh, the potential of cell coaxity to support robust stem cell growth and cultures. However, uh, these highly culturable media have always had their limitations, that is, the impurities in the medium itself. But what about cell coaxity? Uh, we Impurities in culture media can compromise the purity and quality of exosomes. So in this experiment, MSC were incubated in different media formulation for five days, and the exosomes were isolated and subject to we go going to investigate the BCA analysis with the protein the protein concentra concentrations. The result demonstrate that. Um, traditional epith media contain a significant amount of contaminant proteins. Conversely, Stelco XCD exhibit a considerable reduction in impurities, leading to uh, pure, pure exosomes populations. Um, this highlights the importance of using media free from impurities to obtain high quality exosome for downstream applications. Uh, media change during cell cultivation can be time consuming and very burdensome. Uh, however, the cell product city offers the advantage of not recurring media change during MSC cultivations and uh, isolation of the exosomes. In this experiment, MSC were incubated in different media formulation for three, four, and five days. Exosome were isolated um, and analyzed using Western building. So that the results indicate that the Serco XCD can be cultured for three to five days without the need for media changes. And also before culture media doesn't have any contaminant. And simplifying the work, uh, so we, we can also suggest the simplifying the workflow and facilitating the isolation of pure exosomes at the desired culture endpoint. And this long-term accumulation of MSC drive exosomes is very crucial for production of, of a sustainable supply. MSC were seeded in different media formulation and subculture every three days. The analysis, this, this analysis investigates that the Serco XCD is suitable for stable and stuff cultures even on, until the late passage. Oh, this data only showed uh, only passage seven, but in our data, in our in-house data, we uh, our cell is stable until passage 10 without senescence. This capability ensures the continuous production of mesenchymal stem cell drive EVs over an extended period, supporting long-term research and the therapeutic applications. Maybe short, about, uh, maybe um, about the cost, 
and the time process. And the potency is even better, even the crucial part. So to evaluate the wound healing capabilities of, of MSC drive exosomes, uh, we, we use habitat T cells where cultures are played. After inducing a wound, the cells were treated with exosomes obtained from uh, different media formulations. The wound healing also demonstrate the regenerative effect of exosomes on damaged cell. This result clearly, clearly indicates that exosomes secreted from cerco city significantly enhance the proliferation and regenerate, regeneration of damaged cell, uh, highlighting their potential therapeutic applications. And also we check the important characteristic of MST drive exosome as angiogenic potential. So we, uh, to evaluate this, Human umbilical vein and those of say, cubic cells were cultured with a 24 well plate, and exosomes obtained from different media formulations were added. Uh, exosomes obtained uh, were added a concentration of 1 times 10 to 9 particle per milliliter with dose dependence. After 16 or 17 hours, the angiogenic index was evaluated. The angiogenic assay demonstrate the ability of exosome to promote angiogenesis. We achieved four parameters, including total length and total branch rings, uh, number of nodes and number of junctions were measured to assess angiogenesis. The results revealed that exosome produce, produced using SECO exocity exhibit high angiogenic index, underscoring their potential in promoting blood vessel formations and tissue regenerations. The versatility of the Cerco XCD allows its application across various tissue drive sources. Uh, we, we also check uh, bone marrow drive MSC and umbilical cord drive MSC with the different sources. So regardless of the specific or, or origin of mesenchyme stem cells, the Coax City provide a reliable and standardized culture environment for efficient exosome productions. To further demonstrate the uh, superiority of the Coax City, uh, an elliptical comparison of was conducted. Uh, we see it the adipose drive stem cells uh, in the Coax City without media change while uh, some media A utilize a multi-step media change process. So we compared uh, directly. The secreted amount of particle was measured using with our NTA to data view, uh, subtracting the number of particle present before cultures. The results clearly show that the cycle X city outperformed the, compared, uh, the media A in terms of the exodus productions. It used allows for both the extension and collection of extracellular vesicle from day three to day 11 without any media change, and simplifying the workflow and optimizing the production process cost. So normally, researchers in the field of exosomes changes the medium from exosome recovery because the medium for cell proliferation contain many impurities, but Cerco XCD contains minimal impurities that interfere with the analysis of exosomes, mm, allowing for exosome recovery mm, without uh, changing the medium. This is a huge advantage for exosome research. So uh, with ExoCity, Cerco XOCity, we, um, we recommend the flexible research design. Uh, that, that the first is the media change process. Uh, when you sewing the cells with uh, your general conventional media with passive three, and you can expansion the media with your conventional media with four, five, six, the seed train, the expansion cell expansion period, and you seed the cell with your conventional media, and just mm, media change with our exo city. Then you harvest the uh, harvest and enriching your exosomes with uh, 24 to 72 hours 
and collection in Seco X City. It is very conventional way to isolate the exosomes, but we um, but we suggest um, the better things called seeding with exo Seco Exo City process. When you uh, sow your sowing your cells with your conventional media and expansion the cells with uh, appropriate number of cells with to isolate exosomes and and when you see the exosome i'm sorry when, when you see the cells with um, cells to isolate exosomes then you use the circle exocity and then you didn't you do, do not have any media change process so just see the, with circle exocity and uh, enriching the exosomes with our Seco Exo City media and just collect your condition media. There is a very uh, shortage, a shortcut to go to uh, collect the exosomes. And the final version of our research, flexible research design is the sewing with our ex Seco Exo City. Maybe you sew with Seco Exo City uh, at PSS3 and you can also expansion with Serco Exo City, and then you get an appropriate cell. You sit with the Serco Exo City, and just you isolate the content media. That is once the all in one one step one step process. So if you do, doesn't have any media change process with the large scale or the cell factory system something like that. That is very easy and there is uh, no risk to contaminate. So uh, the results indicate that when you use the sewing or seeding with the exocity, the, the particle, the concentration of the particle is very high uh, compared with the media change process and commercial media. Okay. So, um, in summary, the use of the chemically defined media offers this the significant advantage in cell culture and exome productions. By tracking the substance uh, con contained in the cell culture media uh, and ensuring uh, excellent consistency, CD media provide researchers with a high level of control and reproducibility. Choosing a media formulation that suits suit the characteristic of the cells and the specific research goal is very crucial. Um, with recent research trends and regulatory friendly requirement, with uh, city media such as Serco at City provide a highly efficient and reliable solution for exogen productions. By adopting Sarco Exo City, researchers can obtain exosomes of the highest purity, highest purity and free from contaminant exosomes. Uh, and it is superior performance in supporting MSC growth and simplifying the workflow and prompting wound healing or angiogenesis like a potential say, further underscores its potential in therapeutic applications. And in addition, uh, various studies utilizing the condition media itself can eliminate the interference caused by FPS, FPS drive extracellular vesicles, allowing for more accurate and detailed studies. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention and participant participation of this webinar. I hope the insights shared today will contribute uh, your under understanding of the importance of the suitable media for exogen productions. Thank you very much.